you don't want to be laid out on the floor drunk somewhere because you don't know what's going on. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving a little freshman advice. I think it's either six or seven of my personal top tips on what I learned from my freshman year. I'm about to be a sophomore. Well, I'm a sophomore. I go to U of I in Illinois, Champaign, Urbana. And yeah, I'm gonna give y'all some tips on what I learned. Me, of course, I went to school last year when we were in quarantine, so I wasn't able to experience a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna put in a little bit of my experiences as well, along with the tips or, you know, how I learned what I learned. And you know, y'all can learn from my mistakes. But yes, y'all see these outside today. So we finna get started with the video. Let's go. So yes, I do got my iPad with my notes on here because I have to make sure I got everything and I don't wanna forget nothing for y'all. But the first thing I have on my list is time management. Mm -mm. Time management, I would say that it would be best for y'all to start working on that now. Well, it's still the summertime. Y'all still have time before we actually go to school because if you start practicing it now, you'll be better with it once school start it'll more so come natural to you because you already done had your time management under control and i would say the better you have your time managed the more you can get done within the 24 hours that you're given in a day because of course we all got the same 24 but if you're able to manage your time better you'll be able to get a lot more done okay so this next thing y'all probably done heard it time and time again but it is true y'all need to get involved because like, it don't even have to be, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't just say start jumping in, trying to join organization after organization, but at least speak to the people in your hall, you know, talk to them, get acquainted. You never know, you know, it may be one day you doing something, you need something and you don't have it, like you need some tape or something. If you talk to the people in your hall, you could be like, hey, you got some tape, like anything like that. I would say, make sure you talk to the people in your hall. I, I talk to most of the people in my hall or whatever. Um, I always spoke to just about anybody I saw. And for the organizations, yes, if you see like a flyer, oh, we're having an event and it's something that you may be interested in, yes, go to the event, like go to the event. It's okay to not just be doing work the whole time. You can do other stuff and it don't have to be, you know, partying. It could just be other fun, chill stuff, different events that are on campus or different things that are going on. Along with that, I would say, um, I was gonna say get cool, but yeah, like get cool with your professors as well as your advisor because last semester i literally i had a professor i joined this class i joined it late i joined it like a week or two after it had started or whatever and it was only a eight week course it was like for the second half of the second semester and the professor was literally he was like um if you come to me on the last day or two and i never heard nothing from you then i'm gonna tell you there's nothing i can do about your your grade you having a bad grade there's nothing i can do about it he was like but if i know you and you talk to me all the time then i'm honestly gonna work something out with you that's that's a prime example right there like if if a teacher knows you and y'all talk all the time then you know you do your work you know you're a good person if you have a low grade or something happens they're going to be able to work something out with you versus if they never heard of you before they're going to be like who is you who are you like no your grade the way it is what it is that's why it's good to talk to your professors along with just other people you never know if people in your hall maybe have some of the same classes as you or majors as you get connected to those people too so y'all could you know work together do what y'all gotta do <laughs> and get the work done that's the second tip third thing is to stay organized of course everybody gonna tell you stay organized but like if you just listen to the last tip and you join the organizations you doing this that, and the third and you in other clubs and stuff you're gonna need to be organized you're gonna need a planner because you're gonna start to forget stuff i feel like me personally last year like i had a planner and i would write stuff down but now that i'm out of school like i'm still doing other stuff like i get i'm working i'm doing this and the third and i don't be putting stuff in my planner so now i be forgetting it but i i'm i guess i think like since i'm not in school i don't need to use a planner but i i know i do because i've been forgetting stuff <laughs> that's just me pointing out my own you know faults or whatever but if you're doing all that stuff, you're going to need to have a planner. And that's also going to help you to better manage your time. So everything is tying back all into one. Because without a planner, or some people, I guess some people have other ways to help them to manage it. But for a lot of people, I would say planners will help you in order to manage it. So that 
you're organized like you have everything organized this class and this folder or whatever or if you like using your iPad you have everything in different categories so that nothing is mixed in together you're not confused on nothing you don't you're not mixing classes with each other trying to figure out where this is where that is you know make sure everything is or nice and organized that will keep everything easier on your part and it will help save you a lot of time in the long run okay now this next one y'all may not hear this a lot or y'all may hear it a lot but nine videos you need to know your limit and yes i'm talking about your limit for rest, drinking smoking partying yes because some people like especially if a lot of people or like especially if you have had strict parents in high school and oh you had to come in the house at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock on the die like or you're gonna get in trouble like you may get to college and you get a little taste of that freedom and you're like you get to acting well trust me I, that wasn't me i ain't have to learn like that but i don't see some people get to college and they just get to acting well i think my next door neighbor like so i'm talking next door neighbor like the person in the dorm next to me and my roommate i think they got put out because they were essentially partying too much having over a whole lot of roommates y'all know we weren't really supposed to have people over like that because of covid you know smoking in the dorm you know drinking you know puking up in the sink you know um just doing too much i honestly think he got put out because last couple of months i didn't hear from him so i'm saying you don't want to be that person that's just partying too hard like you forgetting why you're there and honestly i talked to him a couple of times like i don't think his grades was bad at all like i do not think his grades was bad at all but he was simply partying too hard and partying too much and he did not care he didn't care he didn't care so i'm like nine times out of ten i'm positive that he got put out because one morning me and my roommate got woke up to him getting knocked on his door and they're like this is your second chance like like wake up like get out and he had to like pour his weed down a drain or something like that so don't be partying too hard like that's another form of partying too hard like granted it wasn't parties it was stuff he was on in his dorm but just don't be doing too much like don't be doing too much so do not be that person it's a little freedom but you have to pace yourself you don't want to be laid out on the floor drunk somewhere because you don't know what's going on you don't <laughs> i'm sorry now I act like somebody mama. but for real you don't want to be you don't want to be that person that's you a meme or something because you falling all over at the party because you trying to over here acting like you do this and you taking shot after shot and you know for a fact you probably never drunk before you probably never smoked before so stuff like that okay yes you're gonna do it even if you're under 21 like we all know like you're probably gonna do it you don't trust me don't do that stuff if that's not what you don't want to do do not let nobody peer pressure you into doing nothing like that that you don't want to do but if you are doing that you have to pace yourself because you don't need to be doing stuff that you don't regularly do like seriously don't be trying to act crazy or if that's something that your friends do and you don't do that or like the people that you start hanging around that's something that they do and you don't do that but like you want to try it or something just try it don't don't um well i don't mean to be telling y'all to do that and y'all the age but <laughs> don't be like i'm basically just trying to say do not overdo it like don't overdo it and going beyond like you know for a fact after two shots you already don't be trying to do four or five because no no especially if you're not in your own like encompass space you're not in your own dorm you out at a party don't do that no because that's not gonna end good especially if the people who you're with they're not like your solid friends like don't not do that like if, if y'all don't take nothing y'all best to take that and remember why you are at school you're at school to get your education so remember that that comes first on to the next point do your work first and party later like just party later because nine times out of ten it's always gonna be a party there it's people coming but okay they passed y'all but <laughs> yes um nine times out of ten it's always gonna be a party happening like it's gonna be a party happening it's college i don't know what school you go to but parties happen frequently and that assignment that, that is due more than likely is gonna be due on that day and you're probably not gonna get another chance to do it and if you do it and let's say you do the assignment but you don't do it to the best of your ability because either you was rushing trying to go somewhere or something like that because you didn't manage your time right now nah, but if you rushing you trying to go to a party sometimes you gonna have to say no like i can't go i can't make it tonight like i remember one time it wasn't even a party but i think it was bowling me and my friends were supposed to go bowling my roommate had a paper due and she didn't realize it was due so she like 
she couldn't go because she had to do her work you know your work comes first so we had to go bowling with her like but that's what you have to do sometimes sometimes you have to make sacrifices so just know that your work comes first yeah last year since it was corona happening it was parties going on but i only went to one party literally i only went to one party my whole freshman year i went to one party yeah when i tell you i'm so awkward every time people come like i um i drop my ipad <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> But I like, you know, I move around, I drop my pad. But I gotta catch on this, okay. Anyways, mm, yeah, I think I'm done with that. Next thing is to cut out distractions. Baby, I'm sorry, but if your boyfriend distracted you, <laughs> I was gonna wave, bye. Nah, but I'm not gonna just sit up here and tell y'all to cut off your boyfriend. Like, what? Am I stupid? Everybody gonna do what they wanna do. But for real though, this is what I would do personally. I would set aside certain time for certain stuff. So like, if this whole two hours I'm dedicated to doing this assignment, then I'm gonna put my phone over there and I'm gonna do this assignment. Like, don't try to mix stuff in. If, if you're able to multitask like that, then you can. But I would say, cut out distractions. Like, why? if it's a time that I'm supposed to be doing my work, I'm gonna be doing my work. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm not about to be, oh, arguing with this person or just scrolling on Instagram doing this. Cause, so when I say cut out distractions, I mean it. <laughs> When I say cut out distractions, I'm talking far as your phone, like being on social media and stuff like that, or even YouTube, as well as people, like, you know, people, phones, people, anything that's causing you to be distracted. Honestly, even if you're in an organization and it's taking up too much of your time and you feel like it's, or like you working or something, like, okay, I understand if you have to work because I didn't work the first semester, but I did work the second semester. And it was a bit more, you know, but I feel like my classes, I don't know if my classes was easier second, honestly, I don't know. But I worked the second semester and it worked out for me. So don't just let nobody tell you, oh, you don't need to work, you don't need to work. But I did allow myself that first semester to get adjusted and accustomed to, you know, the college lifestyle. So, yeah, I would just say cut out distractions. If you feel like somebody is distracting you, I ain't gonna say, you know, cut you don't gotta cut them off like but i'm just saying like tell them like i can't talk right now like you're gonna have to limit that conversation limit that not yeah limit that social media usage or whatever it is you're gonna have to limit it or tell them during from six to nine i'm doing my work like i cannot talk from six to nine that would be the best way to do things because after and then once you could call me at 9 30 or something 9 05 then we could talk but no other than that is it's not no Kind of maybe had to learn it the hard way, but you know, we learned and we made it past it. We finna go on to the next one. Okay, now this last one, I'm about to suggest it to y'all, but it's honestly something that I am still working on. I don't know why it's taking me so long to really get it in my head. I do it occasionally, but not all the time. But don't be scared to ask for help. Me, I do not like asking for help. I hate asking for help. That's like, no, I feel like. I'm gonna do it on my own like I I feel like people should be offering stuff to me and that's not how it is sometimes if you don't know something you're gonna have to ask for help you're going to have to ask for help and if it's somebody like you ask somebody that you don't really you know you feel like they may be playing games with you it's okay to ask for a second opinion like if you asking if you're trying to get somewhere and you ask somebody like okay let's say I'm trying to get to this one building and I ask this group of people and they laughing saying it's over here and I feel like y'all trying to be funny and y'all trying to send me off. Okay, I'm gonna ask somebody else. And they tell me, you know, stuff like that. More than likely, shouldn't nobody be playing like that, but <laughs> just in situations like that, you know, you could ask for help. Don't just be out here lost. Also, you know, you could ask your advisor and stuff for help. Okay, that is all that we have for this video. Make sure to, I'm oh, sorry, we. This is all that I have for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. If y'all like me doing this outside, Comment down below because I want to do more outside videos. But most of the videos I do can't really be done outside unless it's like vlogs. Like if I'm just talking to y'all, yes, I we's outside. But if it's like a haul or something, I'm not about to be doing a haul outside. <laughs> but yes, if y'all want me to do more videos outside, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all want to get, like, talk to me more so on a personal level, y'all can follow me on Instagram. I really don't care. Like, I don't mean to post on Instagram like that. But <laughs> I post on my story sometimes. And I do polls and stuff like that. But thank y'all. Good luck on your freshman year. And don't forget to stay pretty, stay paid. Mm, I guess I'll say stay educated. And...